I did mention a couple of things throughout this review that I mentioned for a reason. Uh, so I did bring up the whole cancel culture thing. Mm -hmm. And I did bring up how women, the female characters weren't that well developed. So <laughs> to bring that back into a loop, the reason I kind of brought that stuff up is because Shane Carruth does have a checkered past. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, so he did his fiance, which uh, was the lead actress in his second film, Upstream Color, I think was the name of it. Um, Amy Simons. Uh, she did allegedly say that he did emotionally, uh, physically and verbally abuse her throughout their relationship. And she did get a restraining order against him. Um, wow. While he didn't make a lot of films after this, uh, initially he said it was, you know, you have to balance. It's, it's, he seemed realistic with what happened in that he, you know, alluded to the fact that you, you have to balance between commercialism and artistic um, endeavors. And he was leaning more towards keeping his artistic integrity rather than doing commercial films or being a director for hire. But then in later years, he kind of sounded more bitter and angry at the industry uh, about not getting the opportunities he felt he deserved. So it didn't have the prettiest ending to his career. And um, maybe it kind of explained why the female characters weren't that developed and there was a little bit of misogyny in the film. Um, and also it's kind of why I got into the whole cancel culture thing because, uh, you know, if he came back right now with anything, he'd be canceled. And the climate of society in Hollywood, it's very tricky right now, man. It's very tricky. I don't even think Hollywood is as liberal as it makes itself out to be. I think they're a bunch of phonies. I think a lot of them are very conservative because they have a lot of money and it benefits them to have um more conservative views because you know it, it financially it's it's more supportive to who they are and where they are but um politically it's it's a tough climate and i don't see him anyone giving him money to make a movie and i don't see the public um and again the public are, are all hypocrites too i mean we all go online and pretend we're perfect people and if the spotlight shines on us we'll see how flawed we really are you know we'll scurry like roaches um, yeah. But I don't see him having an opportunity in this climate to do anything based on what's happened in his past. So I, I think this is pretty much it for him. This and upstream color, I, I think is pretty much all you're going to see from him moving forward. You know, you can enjoy these films, but that's pretty much why we're unlikely to see much from him in the future. So I just wanted to, I didn't want to have that cloud the review in our discussion, but I felt it was worth mentioning before we wrapped up. Wow, I did not know any of that. Uh, I clearly did not do a deep dive into his background, but uh, yeah, that's uh, surprising to hear. Um, I just sort of, I almost commented early on that there's not a lot of women in this movie and their <laughs> parts are, are really tiny. You know, it always surprises me because I came from a background of doing theater and uh, I learned early on that if you wanted to do theater, if you wanted to write plays and get them produced, you had to write a lot of good parts for women because there were so many women involved in theater. And, uh, you know, so I started out writing plays that had more women than men in them. And, and, you know, I've tried to always have at least a good balance, if not more women. Um, and I find women interesting. You know, I find those characters interesting. So. It just surprises me when I see a movie that's, wow, this is all guys, you know, why why are none of these characters women? But, um, yeah, it didn't occur to me that there was something even darker potentially behind that. Um, and even that misogynist comment that I, I, you know, made reference to the, oh, you know, stop worrying about Rachel. She kind of brings this on herself or whatever he says. Um, I just thought that was an interesting character thing. Like, why would this guy be saying that about his his own girlfriend? But put into the context of everything else, maybe, yeah, maybe it is a, a slightly more uh, misogynist thing for him to have included in this movie. 
And again, that's me connecting dots. That may have mm -hmm. absolutely nothing to do with what he does in his personal life. Um, but you know, it's, it's speculation. I mean, if you're abusing yeah. women in your personal life and verbally, physically, emotionally, if they have to get a restraining order against you, I think it was from her. She's also an actress, a uh, director, a writer, just like him, like, just, just like him. But I think, uh, there was another girlfriend as well that, that filed a police report against him. So there is a history of this with him. Wow. It only, you know, you can speculate that it, it, it's, it spills over into his, his creative work, you know, so maybe, well, yeah. maybe it has nothing to do with each other, but either way, it's not good. So. Well, it's yeah, it certainly raises the question, much like this movie raises a lot of questions. So, um, yeah, it's definitely something to consider, and uh, that's too bad. It's unfortunate. Yeah. It's it's too bad for him personally, but again, the, the movie is its own entity, and it's definitely worth watching. Leaving all of that stuff aside, it, yeah. it's a very good movie, uh, and a lot was done in a budget. I think it may have said 10 grand. I think it may have been less than 10, maybe seven or something, yeah. but it was yeah. a very low budget film. Yeah, I think it was seven. Um, yeah, very low budget and very impressive um, what they did with that. And it is a good movie. And I, I am a firm believer that, you know, the art should be able to stand on its own and we should be able to separate the art from the artist. And I mean, let's face it, in the past, we wouldn't have known much about the artists you know we wouldn't have had access there was no internet you know we couldn't find out stuff so we just appreciated art whatever it was you know if it was music if it was painting if it was movies whatever it was um so yeah i think it's sort of strange to say i don't know if i like this work of art because i you know what do i know about the guy who made it you know <laughs> it should exist on its own it shouldn't be connected to you know whatever he may have done in his life that's that's what i think yeah i mean i still like roman polanski film i still like woody allen films i mean i still listen i'm black i mean you know segregation you mean you know there's a lot of racists on screen there's a lot of misogynists yeah. on screen both in front of and behind the camera so you have to look past yeah. that stuff to to appreciate the arts um yeah. but yeah overall great film i uh, didn't want to sidetrack the review that's why i saved all this to the end um, but definitely worth watching, definitely enjoyable viewing. Um, yeah, good time overall. A heady film, interesting film. Yeah, and it's only about 78 minutes, so it's not really hard to watch, you know. It's uh, it's very easy, and it's worth it. People yeah. should check it out. Yeah, I wish, I wish filmmakers would be more like this um, This filmmaker, I forget his name, but he did movies like Mendingo Sex Addict and Hooker's <laughs> in Revolt, where there were so many female characters on screen, and you really got to see them both inside and out, you know? So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. this Sean Weathers guy. So, yes, <laughs> yeah. Can, can accuse him a lot of stuff, but uh, he did definitely put a lot of women on screen. He so. did, and uh, I suspect his running times were also not uh, two and a half hours, generally. No, no, no. They were pretty brief, pretty brief. Pretty, so. pretty tight, tight, tight movies, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs>